Good day, fam fam, and welcome back to another episode. So on this week's episode, we're exploring the World Heritage listed Mariah Island on bikes. And with the weather being very unkind to us, we ended up having to change our plans several times before we ended up deciding to come up here to the Bay of Fires and spend our last couple of days in Tasmania with our new friend, our Whittle Adventure. And let's get into this week's episode. <coughs> what you doing, dear? <coughs> Sandwiches for the kids. Are you right there, coffee me cough face? No, yeah. Hey, Owen, if I was to make eight sandwiches, how many sandwiches would each of us get? Kaylee, Two. we've been learning fractions. Two. If I was to make six sandwiches and share that amongst the four of us, how many would each of us get? I'm Owen, yes, you're right. We would each get two sandwiches. Do you have an answer, Kaylee? Yeah. Maybe we each get one and a half. No, that won't work. No. Because we'll get. We'll each get one. Oh, you're right. No, you're right. Well done. One and a half. <laughs> what happened, Daddy? Did you forget how to do maths? <laughs> Brutal. Well, oh, good morning, guys. This morning we're gonna. Oh, that's probably having me completely in shadow. Let's try that again. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. This morning we're gonna make our way over to the ferry terminal. We are jumping on the ferry over to Mariah Island. I'm pretty excited for this one. This has definitely been a bucket list item. Can't wait to get over there. Oh. When you are, uh, wife drives the car. Well, good morning guys. We've just hopped on board the ferry to go to Mariah Island for the day. It's costing us $32 each for the kids. It's costing us $42 as concession holders. And to get the kids' bikes over, it's costing $15 each. And we're going to be hiring our bikes over there because we don't have bikes. You won't have your undivided attention for the next 30 seconds. The bar is open down below, serving hot and cold beverages, light snacks too, takeaway options. No facilities on the island to purchase anything, so I thought that this would be a last opportunity to do so. Your chariots await, children. <laughs> so we've just jumped off the ferry, and the first thing that we are met with are these absolutely stunning old buildings. I didn't expect this. I thought we were coming to a wildlife sanctuary, not a um, historical <laughs> building and all that kind of thing. They look absolutely gorgeous. Well, that didn't take long. I've literally walked only 500 meters off the boat. And there's some potteroos. <laughs> How cool is that? So how cool are these guys? There are so many flowers here in Tassie and I just love seeing like a big open field and a whole bunch of flowers in it. So cool. save me oh, and don't come running to blame me mm, from miles away I can tell that something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk I think you said enough Sighting we've seen of Cape Barren geese since we got on the island, and uh, these geese just seem like normal geese. These guys look like they're ready to come over and take a chunk out of us. I think if we stick around too much longer, I think we're going to be chased off by the geese. are currently oh. closed. Would have been nice if they told us that at the info center. Looks like it's been closed a while. But if we could have gone to Fossil Cliffs, we could have found some fossil scallops, some coral-like structures. We could have found some smooth shells, fan sea fans. Would have been cool to look at. What a bummer. Yeah, that's a little bit disappointing that they didn't let us know that it is shut down. And 
can't see why because I could very easily navigate my way down there so I don't know if it's because the track is dangerous or if they've got other reasons but we don't want to go down there because a ranger might come along and kick us off the island if we do <laughs> that's really the only reason why we won't go down there because it seems completely safe to me anyway onwards I don't know if bikes is such a great idea. <laughs> and don't come running and blame me. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Yeah, we've made it into the second of the attractions here on Mariah Island. Thankfully, this one isn't closed. <laughs> Thankfully. This is the Painted Cliffs. And hopefully it'll look pretty and I can get a nice dress photo. Just a little side note, you can't access Painted Cliffs unless it's low tide. So we are about an hour off of low tide right now. Hopefully that's enough, but we'll go out and see what we can see. <laughs> We made it to the main event. <laughs> Have a look at this. Wow. That's very pretty. I dare say we're going to get a nice dress shot for you. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn to be a husband of Instagram and take a bunch of photos for Mel. <laughs> Lucky me. Thanks for my photos, dear. I love you. That's what I do. That's what I do. Clearly, we didn't get the memo to bring towels because there is an absolutely beautiful looking beach here at the uh, Painted Cliffs. <laughs> Did you bring a swimsuit, Mel? Uh, no, I can swim in there. Are you going skinny dipping? No, no I'm not going skinny dipping. <laughs> okay. I wrong to sit on. <laughs> we are going to make our way down to Encampment Cove now. It's a little spot where you can bring your boat in and camp up. We were very much toying with the idea of doing that, but we kind of pulled the pin on it. Mel was a little bit scared about the distance that we'd have to cover in our little <laughs> tinny loaded with gear. And there, I'm, I'm also a little bit concerned about it as well. But we do want to go down and have a look and see what it would look like anyway. So it's about 11 kilometers. I'm going to leave the camera away for this run unless we see something interesting. So something interesting happened. I wasn't getting anywhere. <laughs> So I may have broken the bike, I don't know. What did I do, darling? Just come off the chain. Yeah. There you go. Easy fix. <laughs> Maybe just pedal as you're changing the gears in the future. Oh, is that my You obviously changed a whole load of gears <laughs> without moving anywhere, and then your chain came off. This is why we don't own bikes. Well, it's why I don't own a bike. We don't own bikes because we have a very <laughs> tiny caravan and we don't have any spare weight and possibly because I have a boat. But anyway, here you go, your chariot away, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, darling. So this is an encampment code. We've had a look on the map and we're about 5k's, 6k's out from Encampment Cove and young Owen is cooked. <laughs> he started having a meltdown, he's calmed down a little bit now but uh, we aren't going to make it out here but we've just found this beautiful looking beach called Four Mile Beach. We might have a bit of a recovery session here. There's literally no one else here too which is awesome. Yeah so we get it to ourselves. You can see 
that's how far we would have had to come across in the rooftop tinny <laughs> and then we were a good 11 12 k's away from getting up and hiring the bikes as well Four hour walk apparently so i think we've made the right decision to take the ferry yeah definitely <laughs> maybe next time when it is we're a bit is. older so I think we'll have a little bit of a rest here, a bit of a recovery, and then we'll make our way back in to catch the ferry home. Alrighty guys, we've got to motor back and drop these bikes back, and we'll have a little bit of time left near where the ferry is, where hopefully we might get to see a few wombats. Hey Kaylee, slowly walk over here. What is it, Kaylee? Do you not want to touch him, please? Mr. Brent's just getting some cool photos of this sleeping woman just resting on its paw. They are so fluffy and cute! Nine. <laughs> ten minutes to go, so we might see a few more. <laughs> ten minutes before we have to board the boat, so we better get a move on. <laughs> All right, real quick. This is something I would have liked to have known before I got here. You can put your luggage in these casks here, and then just up here, they have some little four-wheel drive carts. So, and then about 500 meters up that way is the campground. So if you did want to come here and camp, you don't really need to be super set up to carry everything in a pack. You can just move it from there to a cart and then take it up there and camp. And then in the campgrounds, they've got some electric barbecues as well. So had I known it was that simple, we probably would have organized a camp out here for the night. Just like that. <laughs> Time to get up. <laughs> You're not very nice. She's not very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tribuna. We shortly disembark into the vessel. I couldn't stick my finger up. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Just in front of the boat. Please ensure you have a lobby. Doesn't have to cook dinner tonight, folks. I'm giving the night off. Today's biking, but today we have to move on. We are heading to Freycinet, not Freycinet like we've been calling it, we've been corrected, but we have to do all the boring jobs first. So we've got to hitch up the car, we've got to dump the toilet, we have to get water, we also have to do the washing and get food. So let's get this day started. Yay! So we're on to plan B. Friendly Beaches is full, now we're going to try and find somewhere else to go. He's not coming out of the ignition. All right. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where we had a look at our budget. And in that video, I talked about how we often end up eating out on travel days. And guess what? We're eating out on a travel day again. We should have been set up at Friendly Beaches and we would have had something that we could have cooked for lunch, but now it's one o'clock. We still don't know where we're going to be camping. So we're going to go and go to the bakery. At least on the plus side, I get to get stuck into some Tasmanian scallop pie. Bichino Bakery, not bad. Now let's go and find a camp. So we went to plan B, C, D, E and F. That's what we're up to now, plan F. You have to stay flexible in this lifestyle. It's <laughs> never easy. So because we're on plan F, plan flexible, we are no longer doing Freysen, Freysenay. 
Freshenay. Freshenay. <laughs> no longer doing Freshenay because we are so far away from it now, <sighs> which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. We'll just wing it and see what happens from here. We finally found somewhere to camp. This is Diane's Basin, and the best thing about this camp is just around here, our mates, our little adventure. <laughs> My neighbor. Hi. We were wondering if you wanted to play some Monopoly deal. Green line, single light. <laughs> Come on in. All right, I think we are going to hang out with Mark and Clem in their nice big van and play some Monopoly out deal of, for the rest of the night and out then of the rain. out of the rain. That's yeah, right, because it's starting to rain. I think we're going to be left with some pretty miserable weather for the rest of our time here in Tasmania. But tomorrow we're going to get up and head on to the last camp of Tassie. Well, this is not how we were hoping to end our time in Tasmania, but it looks like this weather's gonna be settled in for our last few days here. You see the whittles there have got a nice old puddle they've got to get through. We're all right up here. We're gonna make our way into Bay of Fires anyway and see if we can't get a camp in this weather. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is traveling life. Sometimes the weather doesn't play ball. Well guys, as you can see behind me, the rain has cleared and we've actually got some fantastic weather. We've made our way down to the Bay of Fires. This is Cozy Corner North, and we've ended up back hanging out with our new friends, Our Whittle Adventure, with Mark and Clem, which is really good. It's really nice to have some company for our last days here. This is what camp looks like in here. It's not so fantastic, but just around the corner, I'll show you what makes it really good. There you go, have a look at that. I tell you what, the ocean is looking a hell of a lot rougher than the last time we were here at the Bay of Fires, but I think it's pretty poetic for us to be finishing our time here in Tasmania, back where we started, back at the Bay of Fires. That's right, beautiful, yeah, lovely nice. com company as well. And with the new friends that we've made whilst traveling over here, Mark and Clem. Bloody unreal. I think we should maybe do a little bit of reflecting of what we got up to here in Tasmania. What were your favourite moments, Mel? It would have to be all the wildlife. Wombats, echidnas, platypuses in the wild, so many wallabies and birds. Like, it's just been insane here. So my favourite place was Cradle Mountain. Honestly, I could have spent more time there. Yeah, I would have to say that hiking the Cradle Mountain Summit was an absolute highlight for me. It's something that I'll never forget doing. But for me, I think my favourite camp would have to be Tungatina Lakes in the Central Highlands. Camping right on the edge of the lake, casting a line out, catching our first rainbow trout, and seeing the Aurora Australis for the first time as well. Yeah, that was cool. That was pretty damn special. So definitely the kids' favourite experience was Tasmania at the village of Lower Crackpot. They had the best time there. But for us, I think it would definitely have to be riding our bikes around Murray Island. This views were spectacular, the scenery was magical, it was just gorgeous. And baby wombats. Yes, baby <laughs> wombats. And we achieved what we came here for by making it to the most southern point of Australia, which was the third of our four points around the map. So we're going to leave the vlog here, spending our last few days hanging out with our new friends Mark and Clem. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Guys. Bye. That was a creepy job. I bet it was shit. <laughs> Kaylee! Really, Kaylee? <laughs> Such profanity. <laughs> what are we raising? <laughs> well, it's true, it was a bit shit. I don't know about you, but this bit in here, after sitting on the bike, it was, it's so sore. I can't remember the last time I rode a bike, to be honest, but I never thought, like, just one day of it, it'd be so sore. I think boys and girls work a little bit differently. <laughs> Don't need 